true worship. We shall worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 Eternal God, we are mindful of your presence, of your power, and of your might. Speak to us in these moments of worship that we might in spirit and in truth worship you. Call upon your holy name, remembering you are God all by yourself. We ask it in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise 
The Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. We will rejoice and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. We will rejoice and be glad. 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 We will rejoice and be glad.
praise you and thank you that you have taught us that you provide, you protect, you touch and heal, and you comfort. And that you, as you have taught us to lay our burdens down, we lift our eyes unto the hills from whence cometh our help. Amen. Amen. Our help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. And as we come this morning, O oh Lord, we lift our eyes ever to Calvary, where your son Jesus died to pay and paid it all to purchase our forgiveness and our salvation. For, O oh Lord, you have taught us that if we believe in our hearts and confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ was your son, that he died for our sins, if we believe it, confess it, and ask for your forgiveness, that by your grace and mercy, you will declare us not guilty by reason of love. And so, oh Lord, as we come this morning, we come praying for church leaders of every denomination, but especially, oh Lord, we come this morning praying for the bishops and the church, general church officers of the AME Zion Church, that you will continue to strengthen them to be your servant leaders. Lord, we come this morning praising and thanking you for giving us a shepherd and Pastor Todd Jared, a shepherd after your own heart, that you will be with him, O oh Lord, as he leads us out of the darkness into the light. And then, O oh Lord, we ask a special prayer this morning for Reverend Michael Nelson, who will bring forth your word. We ask that you would let him dig down into your treasure store. Yeah. that he might move himself aside, that when he stands, he will preach only what the Holy Spirit has given him from you. And then, O oh Lord, give us receptive minds and hearts and ears, that we might not only hear, but give us willing hands to do your work. And now, O oh Lord, we ask a special prayer for the members of St. Paul, and we ask that all that we continue to do in this service will be only unto thy great glory, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us stand for the Apostles' Creed. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is the one true church, apostolic and universal, whose holy faith let us now declare by use of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let's, let's go back to that. Uh, I love the Lord. We'll, we'll just sing it for a minute. I love the Lord. That, yes, yes. I heard it right, didn't I? We've got time, don't we? Yeah. Amen. I, I, I dare say, if you got somewhere to go, go ahead.
Jesus. Big thanks. Amen. For all the things that you've done for me. Things so undeserved, yet you gave to prove your love for me. And the voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be. I owe it all to thee. To God be the glory. To God be the glory.
done. He has done. He has done. God be the glory of the glory to you, Lord. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For oh, the victory we won. For oh, the things he has done, he's done. For the things he has done. So you may as well say amen this morning. Everything God has done. Hmm? Yes, sir. You couldn't see it at the time, but when you look back over your life, yes. yeah. and when you think things over, yes. you see just how good God has been. He's been in the midst yes. all along. Yes. Amen. In that second book of Kings, chapter 4, And at the second verse, Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? She said, Thine handmaiden hath not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, go borrow the vessels from abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and thy sons, and shall pour out into all those vessels. Thou shalt set aside that which is full. That's the King James Version. Now hear the mic version. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. We got to be able to interpret these things for ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she went to the prophet and asked the prophet that I need some help. And he said, what do you have in your house? All I've got left is a jar of oil. Well, here's what you do. Go to your neighbors and borrow all the jars you can. Come on back home. Close the door and start pouring that oil into those jars. Amen. Yes, sir. I want you to know God 
is still go. Amen. 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 See, you and I, we can sometimes lose the understanding that God is still God. All by himself. Yeah. Listen, listen to the news enough. Listen to the critics enough. Listen to our friends and family enough. We might think that the world has already gone to hell in a handbasket. But God is still God. And God will take care of us. Huh? Yes, he will. He'll take care of us. See, some of us get to doubting sometimes, and that's all right, because we have to doubt sometimes, but God will take care of us. And God will come and see about us. We don't have to worry, we don't have to fret, because he's still God. Therefore, don't look at your circumstance through these eyes. I'll say it again. Don't look at your circumstance through these eyes. Because oh, these eyes will mess you up. Understand? Yeah. To illustrate my point, that's why some of y'all are sitting here right now with glasses and contact lenses on. Because these eyes will mess you up. They will. Yes, they will. Start to look at life in these eyes. You'll see death and destruction. But if you look at life through the eyes of God, Amen. God has a way of showing you something different. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't look through these eyes. <coughs> we, we view that 23rd Psalm as something that is only appropriate for funerals. When in fact, the 23rd Psalm is for living folks. Mm. Let me show what I'm talking about. Yea, though I walk. Through the valley of the shadow of death, dead folks don't walk. So it has to be talking to living folks. Hey, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. Amen. God, mark with me. Not just me who got it all together. With me, even if I mess up. With me, even if I'm broke. With me, even if I'm dirty. With me, even if things don't seem to add up, he will be with me. <clears throat> so here we have the story of this widow of a preacher. First, there are only two points. We're just going to go home. First, if your back is against a wall, don't fret. Back is against a wall, don't fret. Let me tell you why. I'll ask the question, who holds the wall? Okay. Now, now, I'd ask the architect, and the architect would say, you know, there's a foundation holding up the wall. If I, if I ask some physicists, no doubt they would say, well, there are atoms present, and they do this and they engage in this way and that way and they support the wall but eventually we would have to get to who holds up the earth underneath the wall and who holds up the whole earth that's holding up the little patch of earth that's underneath the wall and eventually we have to ask the question who's the one that's got the whole world in his hands the one who's got the whole world in his hands is God. Therefore, God has 
got the wall. Amen. Amen. What I'm trying to say is God has got your back. Yeah. But not just your back. He's got you on the side and over top and underneath. <laughs> He's got your front and your back all at the same time that God Amen. is the one. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Support the wall. If your back gets against the wall, you still supported by God. Amen. Amen. It's all right to have your back against the wall. Everything ain't perfect always. Amen. But put your back against the wall and straighten your back for it. Don't lean over. Amen. For God has still got you. Yes, he is. Amen. The story. Lady, the husband died. Broke now. She and her two sons. No doubt. Son, you know, this is playing basketball every day. <laughs> not not looking for jobs and whatnot, just doing what they can. She had creditors calling her. Some of y'all, you may as well say amen. Some of y'all got creditors calling you. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to take a survey. Don't worry about it. Amen. Amen. She uh, had letters called. She was down to nothing. Decided she could go to God through the man of God. So she goes to the prophet Elisha. And she tells the prophet. I am down to nothing, and I don't have anything. And the creditors are calling, and pretty soon they're going to take my sons to be their own servants in order to pay the debt. So I've got to have help, and I've got to have help right now. How many of us have had to call on God and say, God, I need your help right now? I know I need you Thursday, and I know I need you Sunday. I know I need you to you, but I need you right now also. Amen. I need you right now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I need help right now. He says, uh, I heard Bishop Jared a few years back preach to us and said, you need what you've got. It's enough. Mm -hmm. Elijah says to him, now, what do you have in the house? He said, I'm down to, you see, we used everything. The cupboards are bad. We used all the chicken noodle candles, chicken noodle soup, that's gone. Uh, we used all the Delmonic pineapple, large chunks, and every syrup, that's gone. We used all of the cornmeal and all of the flour and all of the grits, that's gone. We uh, unthawed the bacon and unthawed the sausage, and now that's gone. Everything is gone except this jar of oil. Yeah. Only got one jar of oil. Mm. So, quite naturally, now make, make sure you follow what I'm saying now. Quite naturally, the prophet, the man of God, the person of God, had an answer mm. for the widow. Mm. He says, Here's what you do go to your neighbors, borrow some jars. Not a few. Get you a lot of junk. Put them in the house. Have your sons go out and get all the jars they can. Mm -hmm. Put them in the house. And close the door. And then you and your son get to pour in that oil in those jars. Mm -hmm. so now, wait a minute. Maybe you didn't understand what I said. I only have one jar of oil. Go to your neighbor's. Get a lot of jars and bring them home, close the door, and start pouring them off. Maybe you didn't understand what I said, Elijah. I've got only one jar of oil. Go to your neighbors and fill the house with empty jars. Start pouring the oil once you shut the door. Like the prophet had told her. She starts all over. Mm -hmm. 
one jar got full. The jar she had in her hand was still full. She kept pouring over. She poured the second jar. The jar in her hand was still full. She kept pouring over. Amen. And pouring oil and pouring oil. Finally, she hollered to her sons, bring me another jar. <laughs> they said, we, we can't get any more jars. <laughs> we went down to food farm. We got all the empty jars. We went over to Miss Gaddis's house. We got all her jars. We went around to Mary Lee's house. We got all her empty jars. We got all the jars in the neighborhood and there are no more jars left. The Bible says the oil was wasted. It's taken care of. Amen. God is still in the taking care of situation business. Amen. Yes, He is. He still does things perfectly. Yes, He does. He still provides grace that we don't deserve. Yes, he does. God still answers prayer. Yes, he does. When she went back, she told the prophet, she said, now go and sell the oil and pay your debts. Get this now. She only asked him about paying a debt. He said, go and pay your debts and the rest Sometimes things are not quite what they seem. Sometimes God has already answered the prayer, but you just got to catch up with the situation. Sometimes things have already been worked out, even though you're trying to still figure it out. Sometimes things have already been taken care of. And you're still trying to put pieces of the puzzle together. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'll end with this. It was a, a couple of years ago. I, I go in Kroger a lot. And uh, for some reason, I don't buy a lot of stuff when I'm there. I go this week and then next week and get a little of this and a little of that. Well, anyway, and I often go to the self-checkout. And at the self-checkout, this particular time, it happened about oh, almost two years ago. You see, I know the screen, and I know what the automated thing is going to say as I'm standing. I, I know it, because I've heard it so often. I go so many times. <laughs> but this particular time, I scanned something, and what I scanned didn't register. So I scanned it, and I was listening for the tone, and there was no tone, no, no, no automated, no, the lady didn't say anything. But they had a new screen. I'm, I'm looking at the screen, huh? I'm looking at the screen to try to figure out what happened. And a new screen popped up on the monitor that said, help. Is on the way. No way. Wait a minute now. But, but, but that's, not, that's not what I'm going to tell you. While I was still standing there looking at the monitor and the automated voice was saying, Help is on the way, I looked out the corner of my eye and the lady, the, the, the cashier, was standing right next to me. <laughs> what am I trying to say now? I was looking at the screen. The screen said help is on the way, and the automated voice was saying help is on the way. But while that was still going on, the cashier was already standing right next to me. In other words, the screen had not yet caught up with the reality. The reality was help was already there, but the screen still said help is on the way. God is already there. Help is not yet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for he's already there. Whatever you've been asking for, he's already there. Whatever you need worked out, he's already worked it out. Already right there. Doors of the church are open. If there's somebody stands outside the fold of folks, we invite you to come. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Put your hands in the hands of the one who still the wall. Hand, hand to the master. Is there one? Is there one? Don't be scared. Don't be ashamed. Need somebody to walk with you? We'll walk with you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. One who still solve all problems is the one. and our God, we are grateful that you are with us, that you walk with us and keep us close to your heart. Keep us in the power of your hand. Bless us now. Some have come to the altar who are ill. Some have come seeking. Some have come rejoicing. Some have come who have given up, but they trust still in you. Some have come that don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but they're sure that you still hold tomorrow. 
So walk through this church, we pray, and send your Holy Spirit. And around this altar, that those who kneel to pray, those in the pew that pray, that those online who are praying will feel the consolation of your love, will know that God can do anything but fail. So we thank you for being you, and we thank you for watching over us, and we thank you for keeping us, and we thank you for knowing us by name. So touch us now with a finger of love and allow that as we leave St. Paul Church today, we'll leave with the blessed assurance that Jesus is ours, that we can do anything in your name. Thank you for being God in our lives. Bless us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 this morning. Some will wish to use the online platforms that you may find on the St. Paul home web. Oh, I'm saying it right in a minute. Web homepage. Is that right? I messed it up. Whatever it is, y'all know what it is. Uh, use it. Yes. Uh, you may do that. You may bring checks and cash. We're not minimizing the service by talking about our offering to the Lord. It's what we give. Before we do that, let us see what visitors we have present. If you're visiting with us, please stand and tell us your name. Any visitors? I see. No, I don't. Take that back. All right now. Well, what I see are some people I haven't seen in a while. That's what I see. So now that I know that, Sister Deborah, amen. Glad to see you. I see Jean Holmes in the back. I don't know if you all have seen her, but I haven't seen her. So I'm glad to see her. She's back from Florida, am I right? Virginia, back from Virginia. I'm glad to see you, amen. And uh, I also saw Sister Bernice Sanders is here. She's had so much death in her family. And we're praying for her and for the family. Very glad to see her. She is radiant in her, I don't know if it's pink or fuchsia, whatever it is, but radiant. Amen. Glad to see you. Let us bring our tithes and our offerings. Amen. Yeah. 
Remain standing. Praise God for whom all blessings. just a few. When you have placed them in the house, close the door. Yes. And pour the oil. Now unto the God of peace who brought again from the dead the Lord Jesus the Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you perfect in every good work to do his will working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight by Christ, to whom be glory and majesty, power and dominion, now, henceforth, and forevermore. seated for just a second. We look at announcements. 